Nou, ik ben dit, uh, deze vage sneeuwscooter track, zie je wel, die is nogal, is nogal vaag. Die heb ik uh, gevolgd in de verwachting dat uh, dit uh, ongeveer Koensleden, de Koensleden route zou zijn. Ik moet daarheen. En ik dacht van weet je wat, het is daar een beetje blokkerig en een beetje moeilijk begaanbaar terrein. Er zou wel een reden zijn om hier omheen te, te willen, zeg maar. Met name in de winter. In de zomer loopt daar volgens mij wel langs, een pad langs. Want ik kom daar, ik kom daar vandaan. Maar het komt erop neer dat uh, Koensleden in ieder geval in de winter heel slecht is aangegeven. Het is echt zoeken. Stijl, hè? Halleluja. We komen er wel. Dat is volgens mij een rivier. Uh, dal of zo. I'm not sure if I should uh, continue, um, let's say, into the mountains. Let's first get this straight a little bit. Yeah. And the mountains are sort of there. Uh, first you got sort of hills, quite steep. And then, uh, well, and then uh, even, even above the tree line later on. But uh, maybe it's better to put up, put up a tent here. And just uh, do that all tomorrow. Because it was a pretty tough day. I think three quarters of the day I spent off track. And I must say my um, physical health is incredibly has incredibly improved since since the first uh, first day. <laughs> uh. Uh, I have to, there's a wind coming from the north. I, I, I would, I can show my face, but, well, this is Yuri, hi. Um, so, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> I was afraid to only have covered maybe 10 kilometers, but uh, I think it's about 15, 16, 17 right now. I think there's still some uh, some memory about this Arctic expedition uh, in, my, in my legs, in my whole body. It knows in what direction it should improve really quickly. So I, no, I have no effort in, in like plowing through the snow and stuff and making making pretty good strides with, with, with good speed all day long. Hardly any eat, eating, so I think that's good. That's good. Anyway, this is day, yeah. So, well, it's day, um, day seven. I've been... Uh, I've been going on for for a week now, and um, tomorrow, maybe two days, and then I hope to arrive in um, in Kuik Yok.
all day I've been climbing uh, up until now. So this is the first time, it's now about five o'clock, I think, half, half past five. The first time I see the other side of the valley. And it, took me, it took me a whole day. So, well, anyway, uh, I will camp here at the icy uh, stuff. And I guess it's good for the tent packs. They will, they will hold. A little look in the kitchen. As soon as this one is ready, I put it on here. Then get the butter for the next one. Like that. Mm -hmm. Next time I should bring a little bit more raisins. I would say this is not really enough. Put the peanut butter on the pancakes. You might think that's gross and that's not nice but if you're really hungry this combination of well of peanut butter and um, raisins is absolutely awesome don't spill well everything gets a little bit dirty but that's the way it is it up so I I bought five five pots of uh, peanut butter and put them in two of these things and it's uh, it's more than enough okay no shall we try Flippity flip. Put this a little ouch, a little hotter, higher, and voila, on top of the other one. And of course, like this, because otherwise you would. Whoa, it's just a little bit too hot. Uh, of course, put the other one on top of the other one because otherwise you get all this, all this uh, peanut butter in your bag, which is not handy. Let's show you uh, how I pack this whole thing, and it's it's also for me to remember next time. So, because it's um, not always that easy. So let's start at the front. There is the tent. There are the thermo bottles with hot water, chocolate, <laughs> uh, sleeping bag, solar charger, panel charger, which will go like here, there. This is the table. Um, clothing. Mm, cooking gear, the pants and everything like that. Under it there's the, the bag for the skis, that's under this. And here you see all the, um, the fuel bottles. This is the food bag, food stuff. Here we find the stuffies like GoPro camera things, um, spikes for under your shoes, a little bit of rope, the axe, the charging cable stuff like that that's all here 
the, and here the, the tent packs. And if we, there can be food also here. If we close this further one. Oh, let's, let's do it then. I put this, uh, this, I put this on here. Then we have this roll. This whole thing is the um, ground cover, the sleeping mattress, any extra cell phone little mattress for your back and your hips. Here, these are the tent poles and I'll explain later why I did not collapse them completely. There is a reason for that. Uh, now we can put this like here, like so. Uh, so this is the, of course, the shovel. And we got this, I also don't collapse this. And I'll tell you why, for the same reason is that these are the original thingies to hold this together, but I don't use it. Now, let's continue. with a sweater for a little bit of colder weather because it's now quite warm and here is the thicker thing uh, for when it's windy and uh, and cold then you might <laughs> you will need this big thing here actually that's about it well, let's put it in place here and now Zip it all the way. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> okay. Please don't break, break a leg. Here we go. The last. The last. <laughs> downhill.
almost at the lake, guys. Almost at the lake. That means that the other side is the destination. Kikjok. The place I have been 26 or 27 years ago for the last time. Kikjok. So, wow. That's it. This is far away. I can see a little light. That's a rock you could see from, from above.